This is Guardian Radio, your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hard Grant is brought to you by Alive, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, The Deposit Insurance Corporation, Grand Bahama News, Marcos Pizza, The Ministry of Health and Wellness, and Ross Electric Motors. Howard Grant's the host, got in radio station 96.9. Drive to is the time you can call the show or use the text line. Yeah, he educates, he informs, he goes against the norm. He's really got that zeal, but he's a child of God. Foundation, oh, it's the foundation, oh, foundation, oh, so it's the foundation. Good. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant in your company, the foundation on this absolutely gorgeous Thursday afternoon, live and in full effect. Um, you know, are you up? Because I am barely up, right? My baby girl decided that it's time to have a conversation at three o'clock this morning. Daddy. And then rolls on my head. It's a lot. So I'm here. <laughs> you can see me, but I don't know. I must get home to sleep after this. It, it's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're here live and in full effect and being able to chop these things down. It's Small Business Thursday. I'm so happy to have you here with us. It is a gorgeous day. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to kind of be here with you guys again to kind of talk about what we're doing on a day-to-day basis and really being able to chop those things down. It is... Uh, Thursday, September 21st, we are a stone throw away from the end of the month, right? For all you pumpkin lover latte, I don't know, I mean, the pumpkin spice latte thing, this is your season. This is your day. Should I, should I, it's a new seat. Y'all get too excited. You need to stop, right? This is the time that we've been waiting for. As we ascend to one of the best months that um, uh, the father has released on earth, my God. Praise God for the 12th month. Amen. It's December. It's going to be my birthday and other things. So as you prepare yourselves to move towards a cooler time, as we continue to be able to pray and hope that all we could stave off all the hurricanes and whatnot, um, it's a different time. It's shifting in the season and we're here. We're going to make some things happen, guys. I'm so grateful to be with you and do this, what we're doing on a day-to-day basis. If you're celebrating a birthday, celebrating a birthday, I say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, today, September 21st. If you celebrated a birthday this week, if you're going to be celebrating a birthday this weekend, we ask that you do so responsibly, man. Enjoy yourself and make sure you take the time to do introspection, to understand and really realign yourself. Uh, and I have to say realign. That's a whole sermon right there when you say realign. Because sometimes in our carnal minds, we don't know that we have already been called to these things. There's already a mandate that rests upon your mantle to fulfill some things in this life. And the only way you could be able to really get that is if you realign yourself and understand the course that you've been, uh, that you're called to chart. 
So we just pray that you do introspection during your time, uh, 365 days around the sun, and just to be able to be grateful enough to give acknowledgement for the fact that you're still here. And because a great deal of our brothers and sisters, all variations of age, talk to me, even the old people, old, young, ain't reach yet, all these things. Um, they just didn't make it to this time. But you're here. And it's important that we can be able to say that because as we look at the newspaper, we always see that Thursday gives us a little girthy paper and uh, it's always time for us to, we take the time. And I can't say it's always time because I don't know what you do. But we take the time to be able to acknowledge our brothers and sisters who've passed away and no longer here with us. You can pick up the obituary, see some great stuff in the obituary. Um, I shouldn't say it like that. Not great stuff in the obituary. Um, great people, rather, that's actually passed away, transitioned, and we pay homage to their life. We continue to be able to acknowledge them, the life that was, and be able to identify what they've poured into on this side of the vineyard before they've gone on to, their, to receive their, um, um, their reward. So we continue to be able to pray for them. And if you're dealing with a transitional time in your life, if you're dealing with a time that you're going to have to put a loved one down, uh, brother, sister, mother, father, friend, that uh, you know is going to be a significant void. You want them to be able to go down with that kind of class and pizzazz that embodied while they was here in the flesh. I always tell you, go check my good guys out over at Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium, they can be able to take you down and help you through this kind of a transitional period. It's rough. A lot of us don't know what it takes. We're still going through uh, those significant steps of grief. And uh, my girls over at Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium can assist you in taking those steps incrementally towards understanding that this transition doesn't mean the end, but we have to celebrate the life that was. Go to Butler's Funeral Homes and Crematorium. Check them out. York and Ernest Street. They'll be more than happy to assist you in those areas. Also, uh, I, I like to say to you, if you are in this kind of a time and season, um, um, school just opened. Ask me nothing about my fridge. Uh, it's been going through a great deal of fluctuations. <laughs> it's been bare, like the cupboard sometimes. But uh, you can go down to Milo B, Milo B. Butler & Sons at Butler Mart. At Milo Butler Mart, they'd be more than happy to assist you right there on Blue Hill Road. They can help you right there on Blue Hill Road. As you're traveling north on that road right there on the right-hand side, you know exactly where they are. Um, um, they can assist you, man. They got all variations of meat packages. Uh, you can do that. Get your protein. Get your uh, native packages. They got all the bananas, the avocados, whatever is in season. They have access to those things for you. On Thursdays, Friday, Saturday, they give you something like sort of a native taste of what's existing in the market. Persons come there and do some stuff. So make sure you check them out uh, on Blue Hill Road, Milo B. Butler and Son. At the Milo Butler Mart, they can be able to assist you with that. And I want to give a shout out to man. Uh, happy birthday to Carla Mackey. Happy birthday to Carla Mackey uh, over there at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. Uh, she's celebrating her birthday. I think it's going to be a sweet 16. Is it sweet 16? It's too much, Carla. I understand that you got all your pumps on today. You're doing a lot. <laughs> Enjoy your birthday, my dear. Continue to be able to do all the great things that you're doing. Guys, if you're in the market for insurance, if you want to be able to insure your car, your vehicle, you want to find out more information, um, uh, Carla Markey is uh, responsible for business. I think she's in the business development division. She can be able to assist you in those areas. But if you're looking for insurance, go down to my guys, uh, AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers, right there on number 407, Blue Hill Road South. They're just east of uh, Golden Gates. So you see them right there in the Orange Building. Ask for Ethric Bo. He'd be more than happy to assist you. Tell him how it sent you so you can get a little slack thing. Make sure you do those things, guys, and check those things out. As we continue to move forward, if you want to be a part of this and what we're doing here, give us a call, 827-0111, 827-0111, and check us out right here for Small Business Thursdays as we continue to be able to chop these things down. Uh, interesting stuff in the papers this morning. Pick up your newspaper. Uh, how Kita says we have no cash crunch. A strong recovery, S&P predicts ongoing economic growth momentum and the decline in physical deficit expected to continue. It's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Anyway, we can talk about this tomorrow. We can talk about this tomorrow.
Hey, I want to take the time out to be able to talk about something. Last night, uh, I was invited over at Goodman, Goodman Bay, right? And, uh, you know, when the Chinese ambassador was here, she talked to us more specifically about uh, China Friendship Association and what they're doing. She started to talk about uh, the boat competition. And so they called me down there and I saw the entire thing. It is such a beautiful cross-section of people. It, it, sometimes I get like nostalgic, and I don't want to get like this with you guys, but when I looked at uh, the cross-section of people that's here in the Bahamas, right? So I saw some Filipinos. I saw people from different subsectors and different companies who supported this. I saw some Chinese, Chinese Bahamians, and it made me understand that we're going to be okay. Ah, oh, man, I, I think we're so wrapped up in our sort of an idea that, you know, it should be me, me, and, but no man is an island. For us to be able to get to this future that we envision, there needs to be this sort of a friendship and a very clear idea that if we talk about a world community, it starts with us. And diversity exists. Now it's time for us to utilize what we're seeing in terms of the cross-section of people to move towards productivity and growth. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the president of the China Friendship Association, none other than Donovan Moxie. Mr. Moxie, how you doing, my brother? I got it. You got to unmute your mic, Mr. Moxie. If you got your mic muted, if you can hear me, make sure you get him. He's calling in with us from Zoom, ladies and gentlemen. So he's here with us being able to talk about what the Chinese uh, Friendship Association is all about. Uh, Mr. Moxie, if you're with us, go ahead. Okay, guys, forgive me. I think we got a little technical difficulties um, for him to be able to come back again. Let me see if we can get him. He sent me some information just now to talk about these things, the China trade mission that they're going to be going on. He's going to talk about this stuff, the cost of it, the, lo the time is going to be from the 25th to the 27th. Um, that's a quick one. So we're going to be able to find out exactly what's what. Uh, let me see if I can take this quick commercial break because he's typing me. He's typing, right? Let me see if I can take this quick commercial break and uh, see if I can help him out with these technical I issues so we can get right back after this. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. We'll be back right after this. The foundation. The foundation. At Popeyes, get the chicken sandwich you love, but make it blackened. Marinated in Popeyes, blizzing that is. Our new juicy filet is fried to perfection without the breading. Served on a toasted brioche bun. Try it today as a combo or a la carte. Don't forget to choose your level of spice today at any one of our three locations. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Let me ask you a few questions. What's your name? Pam. Favorite food? Steak. Beer or wine? Wine. Is your money safe? Mm, it's under my bets, I guess so. Are you serious? Yeah, why? Unless your money is in a bank or credit union that's a member of the Deposit Insurance Corporation, there's no guarantee it's safe. Yeah, but what if something happens to the bank? Your Bahamian dollar deposits are insured up to $50,000, so you'd still be ahead. Plus, your mattress might catch fire. Then what? Man, those banks and credit unions are looking good right about now. Visit the DIC's website at www.dic.bs. Protection for your money guaranteed with DIC. If you test positive for dengue fever, you should follow your doctor's instructions. Get plenty of rest and stay hydrated. Keep yourself protected from mosquito bites by using mosquito nets, repellent, and wearing proper clothing. Use Panadol or Tylen to control fever and pains. Do not take aspirin or ibuprofen. Monitor your symptoms and seek further medical help if they worsen. Call the Dengue Fever Hotline from Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. at 802-1143 or 814-4015 for assistance. 
This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, Guardian Radio, chopping that thing down today. Like I said to you, uh, if you're just tuning in, we had a little technical difficulties. We got that straightened out. But I wanted to talk to you more specifically about this kind of diversity that exists in our country. I think a lot of us fear phobia of inclusion. Um, maybe we see ourselves as diminishing and others uh, based upon their establishment, based upon their, I don't know, I don't know what the mindset is. But when I saw that cross-section of persons here being able to frolic in our beautiful sand here in the country, I looked at it and quietly said to myself, this is the best place on earth. This is the best place on earth. And I think everyone who's here, who revels in the idea of being in the Bahamas, can share in those sentiments. I want to hear a little bit more about it. Uh, let's try this again. We have China Friendship Association President Donovan Moxie online, uh, on with us, uh, zooming in. Donovan, you there? Yes, I'm there. All I'm right, here, actually, all right. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, thank, thank you, my brother. Too. Thank you. I see we had a little technical difficulties, but I'm, I'm grateful to be there. Like I was saying, I, last night I had this great opportunity to be able to go down there and check out the boats for... Um, um, this event that's going to be coming up, I want you to tell me a little bit about the event. Tell me a little bit about the cross-section of persons. You're going to be able to talk about what you guys are going to be doing in terms of traveling to China. So introduce yourself to persons. Let them know who you are, how this thing really started, and let's talk about it. Yes, definitely. Uh, so good, good afternoon, Bob. It's certainly uh, great to be on the radio. Um, I am Donovan Moxie. I'm the recently elected president of the Bahamas China Friendship Association. And this association has been around since 2004. And um, the association uh, was started uh, to promote uh, cultural, economic, and friendship ties uh, between the peoples of the Bahamas as well as uh, the peoples of China. And so when you look at the founding that we had, uh, actually it was this month, in fact, on the 29th of uh, September 2004, obviously uh, we had quite a number of individuals, particularly individuals who were part of the organization at the start. Our president was uh, Joseph Curry, who's currently Ambassador Curry. And uh, our vice president was uh, Sir Arthur Folks. And there were some very other distinguished gentlemen who were part of this organization. And so, again, we're starting to promote friendship, cultural exchange, as well as economic op opportunities between the people of the Bahamas and the people of China. Uh, we also have other organizations that we are with. And what you were talking about earlier is the Bahamas Dragon Boat uh, Federation or Association. Mm -hmm. They're having an event which we support fully. Uh, on the 1st of October, which is the Dragon Boat Racing. racing rather, I was a part of that event last year. I attended it. It was exciting. And you see a large cross-section of Bahamians in corporate uh, Bahamas, as well as uh, in, the, uh, in the government, as well as uh, other embassies who actually participated in that event. We had international persons coming in. And so, again, it's one of those things where you're, you're connecting on a cultural level uh, with other peoples around the world, which there's nothing wrong with that. Because the Bahamas, we're a tourist nation. We welcome visitors from all over the world. And so for us, we have to constantly be open-minded about learning about other people and other cultures. And so that's what we're here to promote uh, as part of the Bahamas-China French Association, those specific linkages between Bahamas and China. You know, you started to talk specifically about the cultural, uh, economic, and friendship ties. Uh, talk to me about that. I think uh, the one thing that actually pops out for me is this economic tide. Uh, tell me about, you, you told me about the caliber of people. That, um, are they forging the type of relationships to be able to tap into their dreams as it relates to, uh, yeah. talk to me about that. Yeah. Yes, uh, of course. I mean, we still have uh, obviously distinguished members who are part of the organization. We welcome uh, any behemoth who is truly open to forming either cultural or uh, economic relationship with China, and even learning more about the culture to be a part of the organization. And so for us, we have various initiatives that we are, are putting forth. And so earlier this year, we had an initiative called our Calligraphy Circuit Paint, where we really uh, introduced Bahamian to the Chinese language. So we took standard Bahamian colloquialisms and sort of idioms, and we uh, translated those into Mandarin. 
And so we had people come in and do a calligraphy session around those. You, you got to send them to me. Uh, when those I, phrases. You got to send. Yeah, them we to have me. a full listing. I mean, it was really exciting uh, for us as well. And I got to use really that. Fun. Uh, we had uh, over a hundred people attended, and we only planned for a hundred. And so it was a great, successful event. That's crazy. Of course, the next event we're here to talk about is really our trade mission, which really is looking to strengthen economic ties. And so uh, we have a trade mission plan uh, to the city of Yiwu, to the Yiwu Commodities Fair. A lot of Canton Fair, and, and that goes on in early October. But Yiwu is really the place where small and medium-sized businesses go to establish those economic or business connections uh, with, with Chinese companies. And so Yiwu has the largest commercial marketplace in the world. It has five districts uh, that include over 75,000 stores and over half a million products to choose from. And these are retail products that you would see every day on the store shelves uh, from Walmart to Target to uh, even uh, Kelly's and, and what have you here locally. And so what it allows small and medium-sized businesses to do is to really order in quantities that, that work for them. So rather than order uh, where well, you have to order containers of product at the Canton Fair, uh, at Yiwu, you can essentially order pallets of products. And so it really fits your budget. You can establish those ties and those relationships and then you can have basically direct supply uh, of, um, of products for your business, especially if you're going into the retail space. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this right now, and uh, you got some dates on it, October 18th uh, until October 27th. It looked like that's the last date. Uh, I think associated with it, this is interesting, man. You got city tours, you got delegates welcome banquet, you got business and cultural tours, you got BYD Auto Company and State Power Investment Co. This is this is an amazing thing that you. Is this the first time that you've had this sort of an introduction, or since two thousand four, there's been formality in terms of being able to introduce people to this? This is the first time that we've had this kind of trade mission. Normally, what we've had before are really cultural exchanges where we've gone along with other island states who are part of the. Uh, China Friendship Association uh, organizations from all over the world. We've gone to China for cultural ties and exchanges as well, and they've sent people here as well. In fact, the vice president of the uh, Chinese Association of Friendship with Foreign Countries is actually coming and visiting to the Bahamas in November. And so that's a part of what we're doing. So we're going to introduce him to certain things that are uniquely Bahamian as part of his visit as well. Wow. But we've never done as an organization a trade mission at this level. And so one of the things we're tapping into as part of our, um, our focus when we were organized is really this whole idea of the economic ties uh, between the two countries. But from our standpoint, uh, it's nothing, you know, the best uh, groups you can start with is really those small and medium-sized entrepreneurs, which is why we targeted Yiwu. Uh, there's quite a number of Bahamian companies that do business in Yiwu already. And so all we're doing here is part of a trade mission uh, under the association's umbrella is introducing others as part of that. And as you can see, based on the, um, uh, the itinerary that we have, the agenda, um, the Chinese embassy, as well as the Chinese Association uh, for Friendship with Foreign Countries, is heavily involved in this, especially in our visit to Jinan City. And Jinan City is the second largest, uh, is part of the second largest province in China from an economic activity standpoint. It's one of their core industrial centers. And so the city also has, has a Caribbean uh, development center as well, where it was specifically set up to form those economic ties and relationships between China and countries in the Caribbean. And so we're actually the guest of the city of Jinan uh, when, we, um, when we tour there uh, between the 25th and the 27th of October. This is an amazing thing. Um, and to see that there is this sort of a unified desire and goal to not only casually just float through, but to really tap into the relationships that can be able to support you as you go back home. I like this. I like this uh, for small entrepreneurs and all these things. Now, you, as you may know, I'm also going to be going to China during this particular time, but I'm going to the Canton Trade Fair with uh, some guys who've been doing this for 20 years and so. So I'm excited about that. But to hear about this, you actually have a cost here. So I'd like to know whether or not you have... Uh, is it sealed up? Because a lot of persons are calling saying, Howard, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. Uh, for the most part, our trip is kind of sealed up. But are you guys done taking people on? Or are you still open to that? No, we're open to that, in fact. I mean, we're still open to that. We've had people sign up. In fact, I just spoke with the travel agent this morning. We've had other people sign up as well. And so we're open. To that. We essentially have a, uh, 
uh, a cap of 50 persons that we're looking to, to carry. And so it's open, it's available. And the price that we have right now, uh, everything included, uh, the airline ticket, the train tickets, the hotels, China Friendship Association membership, uh, you're looking at a cost of under $4,500. And in fact, the, um, the airline uh, that we work for, the travel agency, told me that the airline tickets have essentially reduced in price today as well. And so you have the advantage of that. Obviously, these prices fluctuate on the airline side, so we give an estimate. So you're looking at the, all of what I've just mentioned in terms of your transportation and your lodging uh, for less than $4,500 is what we're talking about. And this is a 10-day trade mission where you're actually uh, being hosted uh, by various organizations in China. Uh, one of the things to be aware of is that when we go to Yibu City, we also have a relationship with MSC Shipping. And so we will have one of their shipping agents there uh, who's the help with shipping and logistics. So if you make purchases while you're there and you're wondering how that's going to get back to the Bahamas, well, MSC has an agent there to take care of that for you. Uh, when we're there, we have guys provided to us by various organizations in China to make sure uh, that um, that we get to the areas that we need to get to. And so this is a trip that's organized and supported uh, by a number of uh, agencies in China that actually promote this kind of economic exchange. I want you to, uh, you start to talk about these over 75,000 stores, over 500,000 products. Give me 10 top products, if you know it off your head, or if you got any information. Yeah, definitely. So when you talk about this, products include toys, all kinds of toys and kids' toys, jewelry accessories, uh, Christmas ornaments, photo frames, suitcases, bags, hardware, tools, uh, appliances, clocks, watches, office supplies, stationery, sports products, cosmetics products, uh, clothing and accessories, uh, shoes, uh, ladies' underwear, uh, you name it. I mean, any consumable product that you can ever think of uh, is in Yiwu. Again, Yiwu has five districts that make up this uh, this trade city. And it is, everybody I've talked to who's been there say, there's no way you can get through all of this in a few days. And obviously, we'll be very strategic in what we do, but it has every product you can think of, every manufacturer, middlemen that work with manufacturers. And so you name it, it's there. So if you have a retail shop, a retail space, or you want to source particular products uh, in various categories, it's available to you. Um, there's also, if you just go on new commodities market, you have to type into districts, and you have people who have actually done video tours of these districts talking about the products that are available. It's just so much, you can't cover it in a five-minute video. But persons, I've talked to persons who've been there, and they just tell me it's amazing. I mean, you never run out of things that you see on retail shores, stores here in, in, in the Bahamas and America. It's right there in Yiwu because most of the products are manufactured uh, in China. I have a unique question I want to ask you. In preparation for my trip to go over to China, I'm going to be interviewing people while I'm there. So we've been in contact with a point person to be able to assist us in those areas, but I got to carry equipment with me. And I thought to myself, should I buy my equipment from the States and take it with me? Because this equipment isn't made in China. Why would I take it to China? <laughs> is there is there, is there a... Um, any relation uh, beyond Alibaba.com that you can be able to call in and say, hey, listen, I want to pick up this, this, and this, and really have that kind of a preemptive setup to know you can be able to access those particular things. Right. I know persons who have, and I just use the word Chinese middleman. Uh, you see that? You just you yeah, me? cut out for a while. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah. got a call on my phone. But so I said, I know individuals have relationships with, with uh, buyers, if you will, in China and do their buying for them. Uh, obviously, I don't have those relationships. And so if you have those relationships, you can essentially tell them what you want. And when you get there, they have everything set up and ready to go for you. In fact, there are persons who, once you form these relationships, will go ahead and do your buying for you, your shopping for you, package everything, and make sure it gets on the boat so that it can be shipped uh, to you. And so, again, those relationships, you can make those connections in Yiwu. You can make those connections as you move through uh, various parts of China as well because there are people who provide that service uh, to folks all over the world. So I imagine if you have that contact, you can get that set up, let them know what your requirements are, and by the time you get there, everything is set. Well, I want to I say this like this. Uh, I get distracted easily. What, what I mean by that, I think it's by design with all the stuff that comes on social media and all over the place. You, you go into your phone with the intent to do one thing. And then you see a picture, you say, oh my God, now you're down the, a, a rabbit tunnel, a rabbit hole, right? But I want to know this. I think you could become extremely overwhelming for all the products and services that are being offered um, uh, 
and the time that we have. Do you suggest that if persons have a specific mission as an entrepreneur, that they identify uh, what they want to do, how they want to be able to execute that, to have an internal itinerary unto themselves, to know how you're going to be able to get to those particular things when you get there? Talk to me about that. Actually, I'm glad you said that because one of the things that the Chinese embassy, in fact, their economic officer has asked us for is the list of the attendees. Obviously, we're finalizing the persons on the trip because one of the things that we also want to understand and they want to understand is where their interests are. And so we would build profiles, basically interest profiles around those individuals. And then what they will then do is tailor the directions that we're going in in terms of the market to really satisfy the needs of the individuals who are part of the trade mission. So we're customizing this experience for the persons who come on board. I mean, that's the level of, of, of service, if you will, that we're offering as part of the trade mission. So if you are somebody who is interested in automobile accessories or, or ladies, um, ladies wear or, or toys, then we will actually make sure that you get to see those manufacturers or suppliers that actually can cater to your needs. And so you're not sort of running around trying to figure things out. And so we will let, get that all ahead of time, who the delegation is, what their interests are, and we will make sure uh, that we get you to the places you need to see in order to make decisions about your business. So you're going to have breakout groups. So out of the 50, let's say hypothetically, we get the 50, right? Out of the 50, mm -hmm. after you make the strategic profiles and identify whether if... If someone else has, uh, you know, similar desires that I have in terms of entrepreneurial business, we find ourselves in one group executing and being able to go to these particular vendors. Is that sort of the, the idea? That's exactly right. So it makes it very efficient because you got to think about it. Uh, our days in you are for the commodity sphere. We're not the only people coming. It's a very, very uh, popular uh, fair and city. So we're there from the 21st to the 25th, which is four days. So you have four days to essentially uh, target the areas that you want to look at in terms of just looking at the products. And if you're looking to buy or form relationships, then you have to go back and, and really make those connections as well. And if you make any purchases, you have to get back to the Bahamas. And so all of those things here will take time. And so you have to be very strategic in your focus in terms of what you're looking for. And again, our, our goal here, along working with the economic officers at the, uh, the embassy, is to make sure that we're targeted uh, in what we're doing for the delegates that come on the trade mission with us. This is exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there, I know a lot of you have been calling. Oh, would you get to China? You, you hear me talking about it. Yes, I'm going to China, right? This is a different mission entirely. This is the Chinese Friendship Association mission, and they're going to Yi Wu to be able to deal with some major things. I'm mean, really excited about this, and it's under $4,500 if you guys want to be a part of it right now. Uh, Donovan, give them the information on how they can be able to reach you uh, to get this done. Yes, correct. So everything that you have need to know about this trade mission is on our website. So we have a website called it's bcfa242.org. And BCFA obviously stands for the Bahamas China Friendship Association. So when you get there, you simply click on the heading uh, that talks about the uh, trade mission, the trade mission heading. And then once you do that, then what you will do is you will then go ahead and, uh, and uh, see a form, a sign-up form where you could sign up. And then what we also ask you to do is to contact Leisure Travel. And so we partner with Leisure Travel uh, to make the arrangements for us. And so the person you're dealing with is a young lady, great young lady by the name of Tanya Wilson. And she can be reached at 242-325-6847. And all this information is available on the website. So just remember, go to bcfa242.org. Mm -hmm. bcfa242.org. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important because, uh, you know, it's not a small chunk of change. I think a lot of us are so familiar and used to kind of squeezing together about 700 bucks, jumping over the Fort Lauderdale and being able to grab a few things there. This is going to be life changing for anyone, especially for your first time around the world, the next side of the world entirely. For you to be able to understand these things and get on a new watch entrepreneurial growth and development, separate yourself from always kind of shuffling yourself to the middleman and become, uh, you know, empower yourself as an entrepreneur. You want to go on trips like these. I think uh, this is a very small investment uh, because I've already made this investment. This is a very small investment to be able to do something that is going to be major in your life. When you start to talk about relationships for economic growth and development, uh, friendship, for cultural exchange, this some, is this something you'll never forget.
you will never forget this. I think this is going to be... Uh, Donovan, have you done this? Have you gone to... How many times have you been to China? Yes, I've, I've been to China. I've been to uh, Hainan province, China. And this was a part of a cultural exchange. I've been there in 2018. We were planning a, um, a trade mission um, uh, for China in 2019 to go in 2020. But of course, we know uh, COVID hit. Mm -hmm. And so that became an issue. So now, because we couldn't do that, now we're doing it now in 2023. Uh, and we're looking to make this an annual event here for us. One of the things I'd like to mention too as well is that there are no COVID restrictions, no COVID vaccine requires, uh, no COVID zones. None of that is, is, is there for you. So it's completely open not to worry about anything associated with COVID. And so I'm excited to go back. I had a great time in China. I mean, what I tell people all the time, and it's really surprising for me, is my first time in China. And I kid you not, I was there for 10 days and I put on 20 pounds. You need I to ate stop so it. much. I mean, Listen, it's just I unbelievable how much food I ate. I ate nothing. And it was, it was delicious. Not and it was un unbelievable. I, I, I really couldn't understand it. And people it. were laughing at me when I when I got back. But Donovan. I put on that much weight in, in that short amount of time, Donovan. given everything I was eating. You're not talking to the slimmest of guys. First and foremost, let's be very clear, okay? <laughs> I go to China. I eat nothing. I'm going to do some acupuncture also. I think I want to do it for my back. So we're going to have you. a good time you. in China. And we're going to leave that weight there, see if we can be able to do that and have a good time. But have, I'm excited about it because, you know, um, the ambassador indicated that they have some of the best food in the world. Talk to some of the fears that people have. I think we have been conditioned, contrary to the real experience that China is. Talk to me about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, for me, it's one of those things where, I mean, when you get, obviously there are things that, that everybody like, don't like, or don't eat. But the things you're looking at and things that we typically eat is just prepared in a different way. And some of the things are prepared in, in a very uh, exotic way using exotic spices. And so the taste, the flavor, the freshness, and not only that, the quantity. I mean, I think given the mission or the, the trip that I was on, I mean, they, they just gave us and fed us everything constantly. I mean, literally, you were eating five, six meals a day, uh, given what, what they were doing. And so it was just it was just unbelievable, the flavors and the different uh, you know, foods that you ate, you know, it was just unbelievable. And oh, I nice. just, I just didn't, didn't stop. And it was, it was something that I'm, I'm going to do much better at because now I'm on a better diet. <laughs> but it was just delicious food for me. Oh, uh, yeah, man. So, so you had a good time like that. Okay, good. What about the exchange? I think a lot of persons fear the, uh, the language barrier. How, how no, are they not at all. Because when we were there, we all, and this is a part of what we're also offering is being a part of our trade mission. Uh, we will have persons with us who speak the language. And so you will have the translators available to you. You Because, again, we're coming in as the Bahamas China French Association. We're a part of the Chinese Association uh, of, 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 of the foreign countries. And so we're now a part of a delegation, which is also why it's important everybody who comes with us becomes a member of our association. So you're a delegate. So you get to benefit from all of those, um, those things that have been put in place to really make this mission a success. So you don't have to worry about coming here, being on your own, trying to figure out you know, where you're going to go, how you're going to navigate the city. As you can see, I mean, obviously, we have uh, welcome receptions planned for us in Jinan City. Uh, we have luncheons planned for us in, in Shanghai. And so we have, obviously, tour guides uh, in, uh, in Yiwu that's going to help us go through the process. So this is a, a very guided and structured trade mission. And again, it, it's personalized to those persons who are part of our delegation to make sure that they see those things that are important to their business. So as you said earlier, this is a great business investment. So if you're a small or medium-sized business and you're thinking about sourcing your products directly from China this and finding those um, those products, first of all, but also be putting together those relationships, this is the perfect trip for you to go on. This is big. Um, uh, Donovan, I want to be able to, to kind of wrap up here and let everybody know. So a 242.org, BCFA 242.org, you can be able to get more information how you can get that this trip here for the China Friendship Association, um, uh, when you go on the website, they can be able to tell you how it is. It's going to be absolutely phenom uh, phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal, rather. Uh, it's going to be really good because I'm excited about it. As I hear this and uh, hear how you're doing these particular things, I'm excited, man. I want to say to those persons, you got uh, $7,322 in the bank right now. You wanted to buy a little car. Donovan, they say you now. That's me. Let me talk to them. You got $7,322 in the bank right now. Right now. You say, I want to buy one little car. You want to buy one car from China, the $3,000 car. You want to be able to have some things done, so forth and so on. I want to say this to you. I want to lend you a suggestion. 
If you're thinking about business, take your $4,000 and some, invest in this, go in China, and watch your life change. I believe that's just going to be a great opportunity to be able to make some things happen, and I want you to do that, right? Go there, check them out, bcfa242.org, find out more information, and become a part of something that's going to change the rest of your natural life here in the land of the living. I believe it's going to happen because I'm walking with this anticipation, with this kind of a faith to know that all the things that I've been dreaming of, I can be able to access those things. Um, um, and it's going to be affordable. It's going to be within reach for us to be able to make some things happen. So Donovan, I thank you so very kindly, my brother, for being able to join us today. Anything else you want to put on the table? No, that's it, Hal. I really, I appreciate the opportunity. I encourage anybody uh, who's interested, again, in forming those relationships in China uh, to come along with this trade mission. Believe me, it's a great investment for you as well. And also, feel free to call uh, Leisure Travel and Tours and ask for Tonya Wilson, uh, 242-325-6847. But again, if you don't remember that, just come to our website, bcfa242.org, and click on the trade mission link, and everything is there for you. I would suggest that you complete that form as quickly as possible so that you get your place in line. And then uh, from there, obviously, you can go on and, and make the um, arrangements with Leisure Tours. Appreciate it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Donovan Moxie, president of the China Friendship Association, talking to you about how you can become a part of this mission going to China in a few weeks. So be a part of that. Find out more about it. Last thing I want to say, bcfa242.org. All the information's in there. Access that and change your life. Quick commercial break and be right back after this. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. Right after this. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. At Ron's Electric Motors, they repair and rewind all major brands of electric motors, including water pumps, generators, and generators back end, welding machines, electric lifts, air compressors, battery chargers, and more. handle up to 850 kilowatts and rewind up to 450 horsepower motors. They're conveniently located on the corner of Wolf and Clarence Roads and are open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays till noon. They offer 24 hours emergency assistance. You can reach them at 24235. 60249. Guardian Radio and the Foundation are on the move. Bahamas, this one's for you. SBT. Small Business Thursdays. Every Thursday, the Foundation with Howard Grant will highlight small businesses throughout the country, far and wide. Your products, services, prices, and personality. We want to hear it all. Get your 30 or 60 second advertisement heard on air at a fraction of the cost. We here at the Foundation understand the times and don't want you to be left behind. With Guardian Radio, you reach your specific demographic and it is unmatched we reach thousands daily get your products off the shelf and your services in their hearts small business thursdays with the foundation only on guardian radio 96.9 fm for more information call 302-2300 or the help me howard line at 827-0111 sbt small business thursdays get your today, today. 
Popeyes. Get the chicken sandwich you love. But make it blackened. Marinated in Popeyes blackened seasoning, that is. Our new juicy filet is fried to perfection. Without the breading. Served on a toasted brioche bun. Try it today as a combo or a la carte. Don't forget to choose your level of spice today at any one of our three locations. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Let me ask you a few questions. What's your name? Pam. Favorite food? Steak. Beer or wine? Wine. Is your money safe? It's under my bed, so I guess so. Are you serious? Yeah, why? Unless your money is in a bank or credit union that's a member of the Deposit Insurance Corporation, there's no guarantee it's safe. Yeah, but what if something happens to the bank? Your Bahamian dollar deposits are insured up to $50,000, so you'd still be ahead. Plus, your mattress might catch fire. Then what? Man, those banks and credit unions are looking good right about now. Visit the DIC's website at www.dic.bs. Protection for your money, guaranteed with DIC. If you test positive for dengue fever, you should follow your doctor's instructions. Get plenty of rest and stay hydrated. Keep yourself protected from mosquito bites by using mosquito nets, repellent, and wearing proper clothing. Use Panadol or Tylenol to control fever and pains. Do not take aspirin or ibuprofen. Monitor your symptoms and seek further medical help if they worsen. Call the Dengue Fever Hotline from Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. at 802-1143 or 814-4015 for assistance. This message is brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Beulah Gal, can you believe this? We are now the patrol queens of the neighborhood. We now large and in charge. So we need to check out what's going on in everybody's yard. What about that gun that we know that Junior and his homeboys just ran out? Can we report that too? Of course we can. But we could be in deep trouble if they find out. We need to report what we see, Beulah. When you call Crime Stoppers, they just answer your call in Miami. So then we can report everything? Guns? Where they hiding the drugs? Who shoot who? Who part of which gang or who disturbing the peace with the loud music and the motorcycles? Then our neighborhood will be the best in the Bahamas and everybody gonna want to come live here. And then our house price will go up, gal. So what we waiting on? What's the number? If you see something, say something. Let us all pitch in and stop the crime before it's your time. Call 328-8477 from Nassau or 242-300-8477 from the Family Islands. Or text us through the Crack Crime Bahamas app. Stop the crime before it's your time. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Foundation. Foundation. The Foundation. The Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant in your company, the foundation on this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Thursday afternoon, small business Thursday. Let me just put some things out there and let you know that you can do this too. Like it's not a far off from you. Like, it's not like, oh, my God, those people. This is for you. We've designed this opportunity here every Thursday for you to come and sit with us and have a conversation about your business, how it started, the inception of it, your passions associated with it, how you develop, what you've gone through, how you're here now, and the products and services that you offer. Give me a call. As we get into the Christmas season, don't play with this. It's time for you, just like how people started to travel like crazy this year, it's time for you to get your business on the road. Don't be afraid of it, man. The only way you can be able to see the growth and what you desire, what you envision, is if you plant the seed. And Howard has a green thumb. I can't even get no amen. I get a whole green thumb. Let me help you plant the thing. It's going to grow. You've heard the testimonies from so many persons who have sat with us and say, Howard, I can't believe as soon as I did this, I got five calls, six calls, and the small investment that I made, I made triple. Howard, when can I come back? Every single person has done that, has gotten significant response. And so I just want to let you know that, put that in your spirit. If you're thinking about being able to do this, stop jiving, man. No one know what in your trunk in your car. Stop playing with the thing. 
squeeze some money together and let's make this thing happen. 8270111, 8270111. There is reciprocity. That's where you find growth, in reciprocity, in giving and taking. Don't call me and tell me how much we is friends. <laughs> my Lord, man, you know I know you for a long time. Fellow called me and said, man, I remember when you were slim. <laughs> Sir, I don't think you know me. You need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop. So let's have this kind of a conversation. Please give me a call, 827-0111, or give us a call here, um, 302-2300. And now for you big businesses also. I mean, we have been doing significant numbers. And I know I'm uh, in your food store, in your convenience store. You can hear our voices right now. You want to hear your product, your service, all those things that you offer wrapped in a beautiful commercial right here on the foundation. Please give me a call. I'll be more than happy to kind of do that for you. All right, so that's out of the way. Now, uh, you know, this is the time of the show. On Thursdays, we always kind of connect with none other than Ian Thomas from Direct Marketers to talk to us about all the great things that he has, and we hold our breath in anticipation to find out more about these stories from DNA Direct. But that's a whole different story. <laughs> we'll wait. We wait patiently to see what we can be able to talk about today. All right, so Ian Thomas is in the house with us, my brother. It is good to see you. You all shape up and fresh up. Talk to us about what's happening with uh, Direct Marketers. Plenty. Plenty. Hey, good afternoon, Bahamas. This is Ian Thomas from Direct Marketers. Direct Marketers is a marketing company, of course. And we do radio, TV, print, social media, and e-blasts. So if you have a business or a business idea and you want to know how viable it is, please feel free to give us a call at 552. 0212. 0212. 552. 0212. 552. 0212. I keep trying to hit you with the rhythm. 552. 0212. That's what's going to get me. 552. Uh, uh. Make some, you want to uh, rap? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> throw your hands. Throw your hands up. <laughs> You're doing too much today. <laughs> Do the ladies run this mother. <laughs> You're doing too much today. 552. <laughs> All right, call, call. Hey, man, how are you? I'm so happy to be here with you once again on this beautiful Thursday. My time's limited, so i got to jump straight into this. Howard, for the past three weeks I've been coming here, I've been saying, Howard, you have it's Howard, I've like a million dinners all stocked up, ready to go. I can't call the companies from last week because they're not um, uh, being a part of this uh, broadcast for today. But this week, I want to send you or someone you care about to Traveler's Rest. You familiar with Traveler's Rest? Absolutely. Do you see this? Yeah, I do. Really located. Let me see if you know where these people are. On uh, mm -hmm. West Bay Street. Very good. Um, oh, West God. Hold on. West Bay Street. Mm -hmm. When you're traveling, just before you get to Compass Point on the left hand uh, side. That's the same thing what I say. And then people just come, oh, no, no, oh just before that. you go get to Compass Point on the left hand side. Yes, yes. Very good. So you individuals out there, remember, Traveler's Rest uh, has karaoke every Thursday at 11 p.m. They have a heavy legacy. Like yeah, everyone, man. everyone ah, talks about it. Yeah, uh, I've I've been there once with uh -huh. a business partner. Mm -hmm. We had um because uh, they've been transitioning for yes. a while, and it looks strong. I mean, they some, have been transitioning. Sure, I, 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 now people, people call them they and them. Yeah, Be, yeah. some beautiful people, and I, I like to see that they're consistent in terms of being able to retain the name because the name has significant strength. You're definitely people you're definitely keep moving towards the, the name. Yeah, travel. I sat dress. there and my business partner and I had some um, some food. Mm -hmm. What'd uh, you have? Be I can't remember. Can't remember. This okay. was a while back. Well, you've been, you've been gone for a little while. They want you back. So you or someone you care about or whatever it is. Take me uh, back that's there, it. where You're going to go there. If it's a Thursday night like tonight, you can go there and they have karaoke until 11 p.m. Uh, Friday, you can be entertained by the VIP band from 8 to 11. Really? The VIP, they good. The VIP, really good, man. I tell you, Saturday, they have an incredible dance party with a band and a DJ. They got beer and drink specials, wing platters, spinach dip, cheesy sliders. They got those. Kong salad? Because my wife ain't going to let me go if they don't have some kind I of... Think they, I think they do have Kong salad. Yeah. I'm going to have to... I, I'm going to have to go ask mom. And you see what I said? My wife ain't going to let me go. Well, just to be very clear about well, this. Well, why don't you um, take I'm, her one? Of course I'm You take, take her a, one time, or maybe go one time with one of your I boys. I can't go without her. Oh, you could go one of your boys or one of your business partners, just like you just said. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful view. I was going to talk that. about that. Right across from that ocean, whether it's day or night. the salt water. Yeah, definitely. So it's got a beautiful bear. vibe. Yes, definitely. Like I said, they got bear and drink specials. Bear drink specials, I should say. Wing platinum, spinach, spinach dip, those cheesy sliders that everybody likes, delicious quesadillas. I had a quesadilla last night. They got authentic flatbread pizza and the conkiest conch fritters. They got seafood pasta, crispy... Uh, um, uh, uh, guava pancakes and waffles with hickory smoked bacon. 
I'm like, that sounds good, eh? Guava pancakes? Listen, man. And the night pancakes. Are oh, they know. open up for breakfast also? Yeah, but you can get, I think you can order this at any at any, at any given time. Really? Listen, man. It's bananas. Again, crispy guava pancakes and waffles with hickory smoked bacon. Real Bahamian down home boiled fish. Curry, uh, curry goat. Or you can get the shrimp roti, all these great stuff down there. Grilled salmon, fish fillet. My guy had the roti. Roti, that's yes. it. Yes. Yeah, see that? I know. Yes, I remember. The more I was talking, you'll, yeah, yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll yeah, get it. You'll get the it. picture. So, um, yeah, they got the barbecue chicken and the fried grouper, so much more. And now Sunday, they got a brunch that happened. Uh, you can go down there and relax in the Smoker's Men's Cave from 9 a.m. until. There you can have boiled fish, uh, stew fish. Uh, and you can have uh, all the sauces that you want. So that's your chicken sauce, your sheep tongue sauce, your pig feet sauce. You know what's amazing sauce, to sauce, me? Sauce, sauce. You know what's amazing? Tell me. Like men always have to have a cave. Yeah, man cave. To hide, to hide from their wives. It's mm-hmm. a lot. Right. And, and what do women this have? This establishment. A they den? No, they have like a powder room. That's a powder have, room. That's what they have, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta a but this room. establishment understands that. They definitely know that. You they have a it. cave. You can hide. Yes, you Praise can hide God. away. Yes, it's a, it's a wonderful little hideaway. So this is on Sunday, like I said. Sundays, that's the brunch. So you can have the stew fish and the boiled fish and all that, all the different sauces, like I said. You can get fried and steamed sausage. A lot of people go in and eat that. I never thought that people go out and eat fried and steamed sausage. And yes... That's what they do. You make do. it a delicacy. What you do it's is served with you cut grits. up the parsley and put it over it. Very good. Then it looks mad with fancy. Grits or Johnny Cake and a beverage of your choice. Now, all of this is included. This is for the Sunday. This is for Sunday now. Uh, a beverage of your choice. Plus, you can get a, hand, a fresh hand-rolled cigar. There's music and football games and uh, karaoke happening. All of this while you're overlooking that same beautiful view Howard and I just spoke about. So go to Traveler's Rest. You can go ahead and relax Traveler's and Traveler's Rest fun. has always been a classic. Yep. You can go and re- um, relax and have fun down there and enjoy their bear bucket specials. Also, um, when the when your favorite team does a touchdown, the bartenders bring out a party platter and you can enjoy that. So I love going there and you guys would love too. That Sunday brunch, that's that's fifty dollars per person. You can you stay there all day. So all that different $50? food. Fifty dollars? Yes, all that food that I'm talking about. Plus you get the beer drink specials, you're gonna get a hand rolled cigar, you can chill out and everything <laughs> from nine AM all the way until <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. fifty dollars all day? Yes. You can't do that. Yes. Now that's hand rolled cigar. <laughs> Fifty dollars all day. Sure, I'll play a show all day. All day. All day. That's bananas. All night, even. Because people listen, y'all go to church first. Eh? <laughs> Yo, you need to stop it. <laughs> now, where they're located? They're located on West Bay Street, like how we just. That's said. the most Check affordable hangout. Yes, all day. That's one person. You pay that. You, you're gonna spend way more than fifty bucks going to an over the hill joint if you're chilling out all day. Am I correct? You can't chill out all day to over here, nothing? Yeah. Well, Every 20 <laughs> minutes, they want you to spend more money. <laughs> hey, hey, big man. So you could be in the air conditioner. You go outside and chill out That's outside crazy. and overlook the, the view. Um, they're located on West Bay Street. Find them on, on Facebook. And if you want any more information about Traveler's Rest, give them a call at 603-6630. That's 603-6630. One more time, 603-6630. And uh, when you go down there, shout out to Mr. Rondon Williams and his manager, Dion Haven, the head chef down there, Mario Connolly. These guys have transformed Traveler's Rest into a fun fest of eatery. No, they have, though. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm I telling love you. it. I Every was time there. I pass, because I go get a little Kong salad sometimes uh-huh. with my wife, mm-hmm. and it's like beautiful people hanging out. When I say yes. that, I'm talking about, you know, the bee's knees of people yes, in yes. the city. Yes, They yes, hang yes. out there. You, have a good, you can have a good connection down there. You go down there and you can meet different types of people, and um, and, um, and almost like a networking, if, if you may. So it's a wonderful spot, and they have different different parts if you want to, you know, like I said, inside, outside. You can get your drink and go and sit down about by the beach across the road if you want to and just go back it's and forth. It's a spot. It's, it's a spot. It's lovely in the day and in the evening time. Yeah. So like I said, they just they just sent me a message. Um, they said, make sure they let uh, let individuals know that they also now introducing delivery. And customers who do who order the you delivery, you, deliver? you get a free drink. So order, uh, order whatever you want from Traveler's Rest. The phone number is 603-6630, 603-6630. Go down there and check out the management staff down there. Remember, Thursday night, tonight, 11 p.m., uh, karaoke every Thursday until 11 p.m. It's bananas. And you have things happening Saturday, Sunday, and, of course, the Sunday um, uh, this what is I a just good spoke one. about. Yep. This is a good one. Definitely, definitely. So I go like check it. out Traveler's Rest and have yourself a real good Before you go time. further, I just want to say this. We're sitting down at Golden Corral, my my uh, father-in-law and I went on a quick business trip, mm-hmm. 
and he's heavy on the meat at yes. the time. He's yes. like, hey, he need he, he love meat. He want to eat a cow. Right? Wow, it's too Jeez. much. Yes, right. So we hit Golden Corral, and I didn't know this, right? Because mm-hmm. you know, I'm just I just want some fish or something. Like that. Right. And I'm sitting there, and I said, "What you waiting on?" He said, "Well, I was at three I said, "Okay." Oh. So so he says, "So I said, okay, I don't understand. We're done eating. Can we leave?" He said, "No, no, no." They put the beef on the on the grill at oh four my o'clock. Goodness, we sat there. For, I already say this to you. We sat there for a half an hour. Waiting. Waiting for him to get a piece of meat while he was full. Wow. And he took, the, he took it with him. I don't know how he get it out of the place. How you get but my son-in-law point, My point. Year. When you talk about $50 all day, you can have some, some people just hanging Definitely. out. Definitely. Listen, there are people messaging me right now. Tell me, see, and I want to go down there. Listen, I'm going to let... Th- I can't even give away these people. I can get two people. I can't say three. Three people... Go, uh, two people go to Traveler's Rest today. Let them know that you heard it uh, here with uh, Howard and myself. And Howard and I, well, Howard could buy one of y'all some fritters and I could buy y'all two drinks. Howard, when I say that, they're going to take care of everything. So go down there and tell Mr. Dion Haven and uh, Dion Haven down there. Say, hey, I hear y'all. Boom. It's a conky kung come fritters come too. Conky is kung fritters. It's more, it's more kung than fritters. Yeah, because some fritters you just give you more fritters than kung. Yeah. You think this cake goes And it's so out. important that we say in these things, Howard, because you know why? I was driving here today, guy screwed down his window and say, Ian, that's you, yeah. C Y C. And I was like, this guy is something. Conserve your cash. He really cares. How He's telling me to cash? conserve my cash. Conserve your cash, ladies and gentlemen. Pick up your phone, WhatsApp somebody right now, someone you care about. You're doing so much. And say C Y C. You doing so much. Have a great day. Okay. Because we want you to conserve your cash. You do it a lot. And remember, how do you do this? WTF. Really? Because you got to watch the fees. Watch the fees. And that's how you can serve your cash. Because mm-hmm. Howard and I, we look at each other and we know that we are both MILFs. <laughs> I mean, you're a MILF. Look, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Get your camera for it, though. Look at you. Look at that guy. Because we know money ensures life's freedoms. Be a MILF like me and Howard. Especially Howard. So go ahead. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to give me a call. 5520212 Ian Thomas Direct Marketers. And uh, let's see what else happened in man Howard. I want to talk about my famous um my favorite pharmacy. You know my favorite pharmacy, Howard? No, I don't. You don't I know didn't know people well. had favorite pharmacies. I have favorite pharmacies. Yes, oh I do. Centerville Pharmacy. Oh, what's <laughs> my god, they got the preparation age. <laughs> they, they got, they got, they got it. They got those colorful pills. Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, everybody knows that my favorite pharmacy of choice is Centerville Pharmacy. So when people ask me where I think that they should go, I always say, hey, listen, that's where you need to go if you want your prescriptions filled quick and easy. It's such a breeze. But um, it's not just that. They have a lot of over-the-counter meds uh, that people need to, to stay healthy and everything. Um, there's no other choice than Centerville Pharmacy, like I said. They've got that fast-acting 7Cs and Haliborange. To build up your immune system. You know about it. Yep. That, well, builds up your, that builds up your immune system, Howard. So the, um, the seven C's and Halliburton, that builds up your immune system. And Central Pharmacy has that. Uh, it helps you fight off those miserable little viruses that they also carry. Um, uh, strong, reliable brands like uh, Good Sense. Uh, the, and um, that's excellent for getting your zinc intake. And every home and should affordable, have... Yeah, it is affordable. You stay these ways without people mouth, you know. And like I said, like Howard said, uh, we talked about before, every home should have a blood pressure monitor, especially for those over a certain age. So if you need those uh, strips uh, for your monitor, you can get it from Centerville Pharmacies. They Centerville Pharmacy. They also got seniors. Uh, um, uh, well, no, not they got. They, seniors love going there. Why? Because they can use their national prescri- prescription drug plan. You're familiar with that, right, Howard? The national prescription. Well, prescription I don't have drug one. Plan. Okay, yeah. A lot of people need. I'm not a, a senior. People, well, you're not a senior, but you might know some seniors, and you would encourage them to have that because that gives them discounts and even free things. So um, the, natural, uh, uh, the National Prescription Drug Plan card uh, is accepted there. You can save money and get your prescriptions filled uh, hassle-free. They also claim um, the care and attention uh, that they receive every time that they go there, these are the people that I sent there, is unbelievable. It makes them realize that true customer service still exists in the Bahamas. So those who are suffering from a disability, you guys um, can just go down there, give them a call at the pharmacy. And even if you can't come out of your car, you might be immobile. Uh, someone will just come outside, collect your um, 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 your prescription from inside, come outside, hand it over to can you. Can we call in in advance? Yeah, you call in advance. Yeah. What's the number? Number 325-4644. 
four four. That's where are they located. Ah, but yeah, you nosy boy. Um, you could visit them on Collins Avenue, opposite the Heart Center, or on Mackey and Wilton Street, across from Topps Lumberyard, or the Prescription Center on Rosetta Street, opposite the Old Star Box. Phone number again is 325-4644, 325-4644. Mr. Raymond Aubrey and his entire family, man, we love you guys over there. I could always depend on on Raymond. The Aubrey family, they're doing a great job. Um, um, I'd like to, to, to say, you know, I'm so appreciative that I've been able to work along with you guys for over the past 15 years. It's like when you go there, you feel like family because everybody there is family. It was like three generations in the spot. And it was so wonderful seeing the cohesiveness, them just working together. So it, it was really, really good, natural love. And they just, it's just a wonderful thing. So you um, need to get any meds filled or you need some over-the-counter drugs just to remain um, healthy. And also, uh, you can ask them about anything that can help you fight off dengue. Because um, somebody I just spoke to uh, the other day said that they think that they have dengue. And uh, the the clinic that they went to, this is off topic, sent them to go to Gambier to get the test done. And the test was $300. I was supposed to tell you about that, Howard. So I don't know what out there on the market is good for dying Gambier? Yeah, no, they have to go there to that Gambier clinic to go and get the... No place has to take this test. That, no, that's... I ain't even saying. But you can leave stop the travelers rest it before you... <laughs> stop the travelers rest. I would go outside and collect. Boom. Dying gone. <laughs> It might be gone, but you feel good. You feel good. You feel better, right? <laughs> yeah, man, go check them out. So that's Sedable Pharmacy, wonderful, wonderful place uh, you need to go. Also, going back to food, um, uh, going back to food, uh, what am I? Howard, you caused me to miss this thing right here now. Oh, Lord. Anyway, let me go ahead and tell you about the new village pub. Do you know where that is? No. Come hold on, 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 that's Mr. Uh, Michael Turnquist and the crew down there. Yeah, that's the. the I, I know these the senior men like to hang there. I want to down by the village pub. Come yes. and help me down here. Yes, yes, yes. You yes, go in yes. there. Everybody got a little polyester suit. Food quality really seriously have it. Yeah, they, everyone goes there. They for good I food. love it. Yeah. Um, 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 it's called, of course, the proper name is the new, the new Village Pub Restaurant and Bar. They're located, like Howard said, Balfour Avenue and Miami Street. I took some clients there about two days ago for breakfast. Had the chicken sauce and the sheep tongue sauce. Not me, had both of them now, all of us. We had the chicken sauce and the sheep tongue sauce. Good sheep tongue sauce. Once again, I seasoned. Know, I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't, I don't, seasoned, I don't, really seasoned, where you ain't going to add the extra lime and the pepper. There's sometimes and the broth I'm not gonna was be able clear. To participate. I'm not the gonna be, broth was clear. I'm not going to be able to participate okay, in this conversation. I, I've never had the sheep tongue sauce. My wife, on the other hand, mm -hmm. she eats these things. Sheep tongue sauce. It's stuff. peculiar. And but I'm the big one here, and she eats everything. Yeah, that's how it goes. It's bananas. I want your wife to go check it out. So no, now you got to go to the, to the other place, and you got to go to the village. But you've got too much place to go. Anyway, let's, let's continue with these people promotion here. Yeah? You can get pancakes. Big, fluffy, juicy pancakes. Really, really nice. Uh, you don't have to have them smothered in butter and um, syrup, but you can you can have that down the side. Western style omelet, real good. I had it one time. The next time I went, I had to get me a ten gallon hat and some boots. Really great Western style. You were a cowboy. Yep, yep. I ate it. I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the egg. <laughs> yeah. The omelet made you a cowboy? <laughs> and after I made that noise, the people come and run me out of the town. They said, like, you got to tell son now to get out of town. <laughs> Did they lasso you? <laughs> yeah. so it's too much, sir. It's too much. <laughs> and lasso them right back. <laughs> it's too much. Like, on, so they also got, they also have breakfast sandwiches like egg and ham and cheese and bacon and all the things I like. Um, however, um, however you want it, like they say, weekend brunch, you can get all the stews that you want, like the stew conch and the stew grouper. You had them? You had stew conch and stew grouper? That's my thing right there. Okay, and now we're this, this, we in my area. Okay, then. Okay, so stew conch and stew grouper Sto stew conch on the weekend. Yeah. Oh, you get that through the, it, throughout through the, the day. day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, want it to, you want it tomorrow or Saturday? No, I don't really eat the stew conch and grouper unless it's Saturday. That's what we're going to do. I, I don't know. It's one of these, like the Bahamian people who know, like, Attention, certain days that I see. village pub. 
Michael Turnquist, how it's going to be there on Saturday to have, which one? Michael Turnquist? I tell you, I know beginning. Michael Turnquist. You don't listen, you know. I know you him. got all these big headphones on your ears and you're listening. I oh, said, Michael Turnquist. Big Mike, we come and check you. What's up? <laughs> That's it. Now nah, look out. Now you wore a boat. Now you wore a boat. She gave him the car. My wife won the sheep town. Right. I she just asked you if you get him the stew she... fish or the stew grouper. That's what I asked you. Stew no, no, we, we get him with the, the grouper. Okay, then. Not to mention people also love their boiled fish and stew boils. Grits really in good. one piece of pear. Can now we, you talking. Yeah. You can get hamburgers, pork chop sandwiches. Uh, shrimp burgers, conch burgers, um, plus all the popular fish and conch and, and chicken snacks that people like. Um, a lot of people online, I saw them writing on the page that um, they love the, the, the menu specials that they offer. It's different specials, of course, um, depending which day it is. You can get baked and steamed turkey, steamed ham, mutton, curried or steamed curry, uh, chicken. You get, oh, sorry, curry. Uh, yes, you can get curry, steamed curry chicken. Wow. And you can get oxtail. You got those big juicy steaks that they have. Red snapper. You got lobster. All these things down there. Lobster. Man. You got lobster. Yes, yes. And while you're eating, relaxing at the bar, you can watch some of the the most exciting, like sporting events on their twelve big screen televisions that there. Right, all in the air condition. Now, don't forget they got bear bucket specials for the NFL Sundays and Monday and Thursday games. You, um, people who go out there and watch the games, don't forget NFL Sunday, Monday and Thursday games. They got the Bear Bucket Special. So the New Village Pub is doing amazing jobs down, uh, amazing job down there. If you haven't had them for a little while, I've never had them um, yet. I know what time is it. 1.30 uh, is either your lunchtime right now. Go try something different, man. Give them a call right now. Maybe order something. Let someone from work go pick it up. Maybe they are connected with their delivery services themselves. Or if you have the time, uh, you go down and check them out. What's the, the number? The number, 323-3567. 323-3567. Thirty-five sixty-seven. Okay, so I'm mm. excited about this. I want to talk more about this. Let me yes. get to a commercial break, yes, ladies sir. and gentlemen. And I want to talk about this before we get to this break, uh, about the fact that when you see persons retain the name, mm -hmm. there uh, is a legacy yes. attached to it. Brand recognition. It's brand recognition. And brand loyalty. Right? And so it says to me also that I can go here and I'm expect a, and hear the song from Cheers. Sometimes you want to oh. go there. Everybody, everybody the, knows yeah, your man. name. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes I don't go where everybody knows my name, but sometimes I won't go where. Because you won't be mind. indecent. Yeah, yeah, I want to go there no, and no. enjoy yeah. incognito. You won't, you won't be indecent. Incognito. That's why I wear these shades. You won't incognito. be indecent. On E Street. On E Street. That's what you want to do. Where we go down there. With the Babbitts? Where the Babbitts. With the indecency. <laughs> but we go to about for where everybody knows your name right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take this commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. Village Pub, we love you, man. <laughs> take this quick commercial break and be right back after this. Foundation. Foundation. The Foundation. We'll be back right after this. The Foundation. The Foundation. Struggling to repay your loan? Let us help you get back on track with payment terms that suit your financial situation and improve your credit score and credit report with the Bahamas Credit Bureau. Inquire about our restructured loans today. Call us at 356-7764. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, De Gregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Want to reach your Grand Bahama customers? Then call Barefoot Marketing at 827-4578 or message them for ad rates via their Facebook page. Advertising opportunities now include classified ads too. Keep up with all the latest Grand Bahama news in the Nassau Guardian newspaper every Tuesday. At Ron's Electric Motors, they repair and rewind all major brands of electric motors, including water pumps, generators, and the generator's back end, welding machines, electric lifts, air compressors, battery chargers, and more. They equipped to handle up to 850 kilowatts and rewind up to 450 horsepower motors. They're conveniently located on the corner of Wolf and Clarence Roads and are open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays till noon. They offer 24 hours emergency assistance. You can reach them at 
1-242-356-0249. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio, Howard Grant, your company, The Foundation, on this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Thursday afternoon. We hear small business tasty. <laughs> You gotta say taste D, right? You ever talk to like the Outer Island folks, right? They don't ever say day. It's always D. Mm-hmm. So you gotta know how to do that. Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. But today is Tuesday. Yeah. So we're here. We're chopping this thing down and talking with none other than Ian Thomas, all the way from the Rec Market, is talking to us about the great stuff that they have to offer. And um, when we left off, we talked about the new Village Pub. Uh, brand recognition, the strength thereof, but I wanted to kind of go back to one thing because we just got a call just now. Decent people. Decent. Decent people. Mm-hmm. They say, Howard, you ain't going to pay nothing for the dying gay test. Yeah. So these people are here itching and things like that. If they get something, make sure you go down there to the Gambier Clinic or any of the clinics and you can be able to get your get dying gay test to ensure that you is. But, you know, on a side note, on a sidebar, take those buckets of water from around your home. Mm-hmm. I mean, take those old tires, the buckets of water, Ensure that you can have an environment that is, uh, you don't you don't want that to fester because that's where they live. Ensure that you get rid of those things because we've lost, uh, you know, someone already, a young person from Dangay, and we don't want to see that perpetuate in our society. So make sure you check that out. And I just wanted to kind of put that out there. Okay. That's great. Just in decency. That's great. That's a wonderful thing. Praise God. PSA. Good. Hey, listen here. Also, folks, uh, a lot of people have been calling me about the standby generators. If you are... A sufferer when the electricity goes off of being in heat. <laughs> a sufferer? Born as a sufferer. <laughs> People are suffering. <laughs> People are suffering. <laughs> a sufferer. <laughs> when the power goes off, you're a slave. <laughs> you're a slave. <laughs> What's your name? A sufferer. Tell me. This is who we are? Yeah, but stop, stop suffering. It's, I mean, it's so vague. It's too much. Right. But I don't like it. They suffer it. Yeah. Okay, let's Do the language suffering. change also? When yeah, the yeah. Oh, massa. Oh. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, massa. Oh, oh massa. my God, massa. <laughs> It's yeah, a lot. Sufferer? Okay, yeah, don't be a sufferer, man. Listen, get yourself a standby generator. It's made by Generac. It's a standby generator. You can get a 7.5 kilowatt generator for only 4,495 bucks. You can get a 14 kW one for only $6,495 and a 22 kW for only $7,995. As soon as your electricity goes off, boom, your automatic transfer switch kicks in and your power is restored in two to three seconds. So when you pay the price for the generator, you're going to get uh, the automatic transfer switch. And the only thing you need after that is to let someone build a base in your yard for the generator to sit on. And uh, remember, your generator is powered by propane. So you're looking for a standby generator so you don't be at the mercy of the power company when there's an outage. Please feel free to give me a call. Ian Thomas, Direct Marketers. 552-0212. Five, five, two, 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 one, two. Five five two zero two one two. Boy, Howard's got this down back. Hey, Howard. Also, my client just says um, to let you guys know: there's no need to hire expensive companies to clean your upholstery. Get rid of deep, grimy stains on your furniture and rugs immediately. We've got deep, now grimy stains. Deep, grimy stains. If you get some on your couch, sure. Or your. I've been to a few homes like this. Yes. Or your deep, rugs. grimy stains. Yeah. Or in your car. Howard, you want to take a seat? No, I'll stand. No, that's okay then. Thank you. Yeah, just you the, get bacteria give me a piece in your of seat. I'll send a piece of widow. You know, my wife doesn't wear like short pants if we go to the movie. No, uh, she doesn't want that. Yeah. Uh, oh my like goodness, she has this kind of like a, a phobia. phobia. Yeah, for, she's a germaphobe. Yeah, like how uh, Howie movies. Mandel was and uh, Trump. Uh, I think Trump came over it though, but whatever. But let me just tell you quickly: it's the Bissell, the little little green pro. This is an excellent spot remover for your home or automotive use. It's now on sale, three hundred twenty-five dollars. It cleans the stains out of anything, so you don't have to worry about trying to bring those guys with those big expensive stuff in. The bristle, um, the uh, the Bissell Little Green Pro is an excellent spot remover. Get rid of all, like I said, um, cleans your upholstery. Get rid of the um, the dirt and the and the griminess and the stains. Boom. And if you have want to start a small business, you can purchase one of these and clean it for other people. Clean Am I correct? Car. 
Huh? Yeah, clean people cars. Yeah, and usually clean people cars. Yeah, because yeah. this is heavy. This is heavy duty. It's not big in size, but it's heavy duty, and it can take. It's a one. Bissell. Yeah, it's a Bissell little giant. It I can got take one. a lot of kick. It. I, I had one of those before. Yeah, I'm, th- they I'm are telling good. You, these are really really. I had good. a Bissell vacuum also. Uh, they're so very how, good. Howard is telling you about it right now. Yeah, now very you good. know. Now you know. Listen, cable, watching cable is boring, and um, that's what I say. You gonna you gonna ask me about it? Well. I can ask you about it. How's the IPTV? The IPTV. Bananas. How many, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. I watch it. You watch it. People come to my house to watch it all the time. Really? You can get over 4,000 stations. Howard them? knows this. Um, no, I don't charge. 10 bucks them. at the door? No, I, no, I, popcorn I, I, and soda? I, I, I kind of got rid of the popcorn and soda. It's just one flat rate. <laughs> <laughs> you go in. <laughs> you, you sign up. And I come to watch the movie. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. <laughs> Okay. I've got okay. I've got Snuggies on the back on <laughs> rental. Twelve twelve dollars. <laughs> you give me twelve. My like, own mind. Don't be like back in the day. You I know, <laughs> you, only certain people had satellite in, in the community. Oh man, you remember that? Yeah. You, so when you watch the satellite, you see people out your window. What are you doing, sir? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you in the way about much of it? Listen, be like me and Howard. We've got the um, uh, IPTV Super Box. You can get over 4,000 stations, like I said, including the Bahamian station, so you can watch all your news outlets. I can't call their I names. I genuinely have to say, this is bananas. Thank you. You can get Now, I'm stations. not saying this to kind uh-huh. of, like, I'm serious. Yes. Yeah, I could sit I had, down. I, I don't have make to sure swing get it. 78 different uh, things. I don't have to go over here to YouTube and hope, wait for one of the news stations to kind of upload their stuff. Right, right. I don't have to go. I can watch things live. You can watch things live. Okay. And also, you have a huge movie library. Mm, and you have huge. pay-per-view movies. And not just... And the, pay-per-view sports. So the newly released movies uh-huh. and the classics. And you have all your stations are in HD and uh, 4K. This is bananas. Listen, let me tell you. I enjoy people, this thing. The price and everything. You can have all of this. Stations in Jamaica, Haiti, Africa, India. Uh, 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 stations um, all over the Caribbean. You can have all of this. Plus, you can have all the um, kids' movies. I mean, kids' stations, religious stations, adult stations. This is all two hundred twenty-five bucks for the whole setup, and then thirty uh, thirty dollars per month. That's it. Two twenty-five that gives you the box or the or the app. Can I that say can this? Can go straight into your television. You really don't even need Netflix. No, you don't. Because they give you the Netflix. They give you Netflix. They movies, give you the Netflix movies. The, 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 the latest Netflix movies on there, so you can cancel your Netflix. I'm so glad that you mentioned that, Howard. I'm so so glad. It's hard because there's a station. Watch there's, there's a part. I had to Look go through. Howard and I are arguing over how good IPTV is, ladies I, and gentlemen. I, I, go ahead. I had to go through through because my daughter, she's like, she wanted me to pay for Disney, Disney uh-huh. Plus, mm-hmm. and I'm like, are you crazy? I don't watch Disney. I've right. watched all these movies right. five times. Right. I'm not gonna pay for Disney Plus. Right. She young so she wants to be able to watch disney plus there's disney on it you got disney plus yes i know right i like uh amazon you well, got I've that never too. paid for the amazon thing there's hulu they included got, people don't even know hulu, that they got amazon they got netflix they got um uh what's the other ones right they got the whole thing they got all that now howard let me interrupt you politely what also i like what a lot of people when i when i introduce them to it they have 24-hour movies and they have 24-hour series. So you can have Family Guy on all day. You could watch you can Nick have at Chairs night. all day with no interruption. You have Charles Bronson movies, just a station for Charles Bronson all day. Um, stations for karate movies all day, no interruptions. Westerns all day, no interruptions. I watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. I watch Seinfeld. I just, like, if I'm just chilling out one day and I'm not doing anything, it's just another one comes on, another one. No commercials. It's just another one. That's what I like about the, the 24 hour. My um, son, my son is, uh, he was kind of crazy about the four year old. He, he goes uh, bonkers about this <clears> thing. <throat> He's heavy into. Like monster trucks. Okay, yeah. So he want all the, the daddy gonna buy. I, I buy him like at least all the big wheel things. Yeah, thirty monster trucks. Yes, right. So uh-huh. he has all the monster truck stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And he gets into where these kids on YouTube are playing with this stuff, and I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be very clear about it. Right. I feel like these kids are rude. I don't like it. Yes. And so every time he watches it. I have to take as a listen. I don't like this guy. I don't like how he's talking to his father. I don't like his disposition because every time the little boy finished with watching this stuff, he has a different posture. So oh. I said, I don't like this. Okay. I don't like this. We got to cut this stuff out. No right. more Ryan's world. Not much kind of weird stuff. Oh, okay. I said, so let's watch some classic stuff. 
we pop in Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. Oh, Inspector yes, Gadget. yes, yes, right? yes. Yes. Because like, you have all the classics Daddy, yeah. I love this. Can yeah. you watch some more old school cartoons? Yeah, you got all the He Man and everything. Yes, all these. This is what developed us. And yes, we, and we decent. Right, that's right. Never once have I thought about going to shoot up a school. I don't know where that came from, but okay. Oh, no, but I'm trying to say how decent I am, and we are you. I thought about it a couple of times. <laughs> Listen here. Man, you want the IPTV super the box. Things. The only thing you need is a flat screen TV or a television with an HDMI port. You need internet access and you that's basically it. And boom, you're there. 225 bucks. Gives you the IPTV. That includes your first month, and then every month after that is just 30 bucks. Get yourself the IPTV box. Get rid of cable. It's boring. You don't have to worry about not being able to watch um, the news uh, on all the different stations. You have it right there. And you don't Everything have to worry want. about um, um, Buenos dias, es Telemundo, right? Because, uh, you know, you're watching an American yes, station yes, and all yes. the commercials are in. And, uh, yes. Can yes, I be clear yes, about yes, this? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Yeah, but all the Haitian stations, all the Jamaican stations, all of the I'm talking stations. about when we watch it uh, on TNT. Yes, on TNT. And all the commercials are in Spanish. Correct. You like that? No. Oh, okay. Then. I don't. I don't know. But if you like it, you can get it. So you can be able to eradicate this kind of a thing mm -hmm. and all the static, because a lot of persons have been complaining about this for uh -huh. a long time. Mm -hmm. They've been watching the thing, and then boom, the screen goes blank. It freezes. This is what you pay for. You're absolutely But you don't get right. that with IPTV. And your system never goes down. And if it goes down, it goes down for maybe a couple of... In the past five years, I think it went down about three times. And it went down for a matter of about two to three to five minutes, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm impressed with IPTV. And they don't have to come to your house. Like how another uh, uh, the company has to come out and say, is someone going to be home between 12 and 4? No. They fix it remotely right from where they are. Folks, you're going to be... In love with IPTV. No buffering, no anything. Give me a call. Ian Thomas, direct marketers. IPTV, $225 for the first month. And um, and that includes everything. And then $30 a month after that. All you need is a, a television with an HDMI port, which most people have. And you need internet access at your home. And that's about it. Get it, get it, get it. 5520212. 5520212. Another thing, Howard, the, the privacy screen. Yeah. You know, people, uh, as long as you have a chain link fence around your yard, you don't have to be at the mercy, once again, at the mercy and suffering of people looking and watching what's happening inside your yard. Sometimes I'm driving through Howard's neighborhood. He walking outside. He ain't have no chain link. And then he's walking around his underpants in the yard. I said, Howard, go tidy whitey. <laughs> <laughs> I got food of the loaves. I didn't even wear tidy whiteies for 1997. I wore food of the loaves, only one grape leaf. <laughs> 1997, I wore tidy whiteies for 97. <laughs> and listen, yeah, man. No, but some, seriously, though, some people do that, though. Hey, listen, yeah. You want people looking inside your yard? Get yourself the privacy screen. Some people here call it, we call it the green top. You got any that green top you put on the fence? A privacy screen, privacy fence, whatever you want to call it. As long as you have a, a chain link fence up, you don't have to have people sneak um, looking into your... Your yard, you can keep all the no, no, nosy neighbors looking out and all the passerbys. Boom. It's 50 feet long, 6 feet tall. It's a privacy screen. It goes directly onto the fence. You, you, you fix it with the, um, with the, with the straps. Uh, with the straps, you easy to put on and everything like that. If you need installation, installation is only $35. Get it. It's only $189. Get yourself that. You might be building, doing some construction. You want people looking in your yard. You don't want them teeth your blocks. Oh, that's another thing. Yes. Get it. Five five two zero two one two. You give me a call. You get the privacy screen that goes right on the fence. Uh, it's only um, one hundred eighty nine dollars. Fifty feet long, six feet tall. You can get it in installed if you wanted to for uh, thirty five bucks and eliminate all those people having access of looking into your yard. Once again, you give me a call at five five two zero two one two five five two zero two one two. Get yourself that privacy screen today. And also, this just popped up right now. People who have those water fountains at their homes, you know, some of them are not working. The little, the water fountain that where the big five gallon sits on their on the water dispenser. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. they have them in their homes in their offices. Some of the um, operators are not working. They got them in now. If you're looking for those water cooler faucets, uh, they're now available. Those replacement ones, the replacement ones that yours might be broken or it's an or it's inoperable right now. The valve uh, that goes onto the water dispenser. 
Give me a call right now. They're only $9.95 each. So get yourself one or two of them. That's for the hot water or the cold water. You can buy them now today. Give me a call at 552-0212. 552-0212. You have that water cooler, but one or two of the valves are not working. You're like, where do I get this from? Because I've been searching all over the place too, and nobody has them. Even the places that sell water, can't call their names, they don't have any. So they're very hard to find um, um, items. Give me a call. You can get yourself. So, but you, you screw cold. it out. You, you just pop you it screw that in. one off, and you turn that one. You turn. The, you screw the next one on, and boom, it works um, fantastically. So, um, you, you know, know, I was tempted to buy one uh -huh. because you know I saw some very affordable ones to be able to put the five gallon in there. Mm -hmm. But I remember that I have little Negro children that don't stop touching everything. Come on, your kids are really not that Negro. Uh, they're one hundred percent, sir. Yeah, don't they, mind the superficial color. <laughs> they like Their color. blood is steeped. <laughs> In ink. tarp, ink. dark, dark, dark. The inkwell. <laughs> this, this is what it is. It's just the truth. Oh, Lord. Hey, Howard, uh, man, this woman just write me say, Mr. Thomas, uh, you have any more of them things? Yes, they do have them. Howard asks me about them when they come to Them things? Listen. Um, <laughs> Howard asks you about them? Yeah, anyway. Howard, you know, Howard they... you, not you ask me like you were oh. you saying that people were asking you about them. You are interested in um, taking your relationship to the next level and having a really good time or whatever that is, and you're looking for something that's really nice, they just called me and they said, now they have the strong, um, they have the rose that's on sale right now, Howard. So you don't have to pay the high price anymore. They're only 55 rose. bucks right now. The rose, the stimulator, it's and it's guaranteed rose. to spice up any relationship with, well, with you and your partner. Baby so you girl. can get it. Ladies, get wild. Be prepared to get wild. This is amazing. You're still a flower. It's... A nice bubbling vibration. You make feel good. Do you it's, know this song? It's everything like that. I'm just listening to you sing, buddy. He can leave you when he take Look you. Look at this woman. This woman say, that's what I'm talking you about. He so if you. you want one of those, you want to buy it for someone you care about, uh, you want to buy it for yourself, you can get your rose um, delivered. And it costs only 55 bucks. Give me a call. I'll turn you on to the individuals to deliver it. And it's 5520212. choice of words. What's that? What I said? What I said? I'll turn you on to the. It's too much. <laughs> I would be crazy. And then after you get the rose, and more than likely, some people might need DNA Direct. Absolutely. Ah, there well, you go. technically, you should. No, should I, like, you shouldn't, but, you know. So we talk about DNA yeah, Direct? Yeah, let's go. I DNA feel like direct. this is the high point of our conversation. Listen, I'm if always you, excited to find out more about you, DNA Direct. If you're an individual who needs to know if a child is your child, or if you're a child and you need to find out if uh, a certain male is your father, your biological father, please call DNA Direct at 3240665. You can get a DNA test for as low as $450. There's no needles or blood involved. Um, it's just a buccal swab of the inside of the mouth. There's a mobile service available seven days a week between seven and seven. Very discreet. And it's very discreet. They don't say they DNA won't show Direct up. back on their shirt. They won't show up with any logos on their shirt or any signage on the car. It's very easy. How would a lot of men out there are taking Big care caps of Big caps on the t-shirt. We come to find out the baby daddy. Man, don't say that. None of that. They ain't got none of none that. None of that. They could be like, mm, mom's the word. Psst, over there. So... You need a paternity test done, call DNA Direct. 3240665. Yeah, you want to find out if someone's your brother or your sister. You want to find out if someone's, when, someone's your, your, your dad or your grandparent. It's so, so important. If you're an individual and you... Um, this is extremely important, you know. It's so, so important. Let me tell you why. Go ahead. I can tell you why. I can tell you a story. I'm listening. You're listening to the story? I'm listening. Okay, here goes the story. So my, gra my father is a grant. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. His father was born in Turks and Caicos. Ah. He moved to Abaco. Okay. My father's father. Hold my on, grandfather. Let me get a pen for this. Go right? ahead. You got it right. Yeah. Okay, good. He moved to Abaco during the panning time, and they did everything like that. Uh -huh. When he got in Abaco, my father was born in Spring City, Abaco. They eventually moved from Abaco mm -hmm. and slipped over there to Grand Bahama. Correct. Okay. Now, when they got there in Grand Bahama, mm -hmm. my father met my mother. Mm -hmm. She is also a grant, mm -hmm. as a double grant. Right, a double grant. When my father went to find out the information as to whether or not this is a grant, if this is a, you know, you got to introduce him, so forth and so on. Say, hey, this is my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they start to tell him the story. Yeah. Say, oh, baby, you know this is a grant. If you ain't going through that, mm -hmm. 
And, you know, because things have changed over the time. Correct. And people don't necessarily have all these kind of relationships and they ain't introducing you to Grammy, so forth and so on. Right, right. If you are not going through that, what you need to do, watch me, is find out DNA Direct. Call DNA Direct right now. My phone's bling, um, blowing up right now. And, um, and they are just asking me for that number. Once again, call DNA Direct. 3240665. 3240665. Get a DNA test today. Hey, Howard, my good friend just came in here. She's a that. fabulous, fabulous person. She got She's not just smart. Slayed and She's laid. beautiful. Face beat. Hair look. Anyway, listen, Howard, talk to my girl right now. How you doing? I am. Fine. I see Neely on your shirt. You just miss Neely. Yes, I am. How you doing, Miss Neely? Tell me what you're here for and what you're all about. My name is Dr. Sharon Neely. Dr. Sharon Neely. Dr. Sharon Neely. Okay, Doc. I own the first and only hair restoration clinic in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I specialize in helping men, women, and children with hair loss or any kind of scalp issues. Hair loss and scalp issues. That's right. This is exciting stuff. A lot of persons are trying to revive themselves. They know that their hair is their crown and glory. I want to know from you. How do you do this, where you're located, how people can get in contact with you? I'm located in the heart of Nassau, Nassau, Bahamas, Bay Street, in, on Elizabeth and Bay. Um, the phone number is 364-0517. I'll repeat it, 364-0517. We also can be reached on WhatsApp as well from that number. 364-0517. Correct. Okay, Dr. Needy, so tell me some of the things. So you say you deal with uh, hair from men, women, and children. What we're trying to do is... It's heavy what you say for children. Yes, for children as well. For men, women, and children. So, because I remember one time, um, there was a young girl in our neighborhood that had a hair issue. I can't exactly remember what it was, but she was unable to grow hair um, uh, as a child, it just wouldn't grow for whatever the reason was. What are some of the issues that you can be able to identify and deal with like that? What you're basically talking about is, of course, it seems like it's tied on to something called alopecia, which is very... I think it was alopecia. It's alopecia. It's very popular. It's very common. I don't know if it's now. popular. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pop I mean it's common. I think common, yeah. It's, I don't think it's popular. Well, yeah. What are you saying? It's, it's very back? common. Yeah, it's very, very common. Really? Um, we also um, deal with scalp issues like severe dandruff, subarc dermatitis, or any kind of scalp issues we all how about receding hair i got a buddy with like a couple of buddies with receding hair do you receding, deal with that we do also we yes we do um uh we have a very high clientele of males mm -hmm. who experience hair loss from may it be the lock um thinning the crown thinning receding hairline male pattern baldness we have a system where we would stop to reverse stop control wow. to reverse and the success rate So individuals sense. who haven't had hair growing in a long time, you can get their hairs to start to grow? At all, depending on the situation. And that's on the severity? Have. Yes. Okay. Does good. diet have anything to do with this? Diet uh, have a major, major role. Wow. So how you eat your, what, what you eat? We also do hair consultations, which is our starting point. Um, the hair consultations then would allow us to know a little bit more about you, about your lifestyle, about your diet, um, your intake of water, so on and so forth, which would give us a more better directive on how we can help because it's not a cookie cutter formula for any so everything is individualized based upon what the issues is or whatever pre-existing issues that they had before correct i like this correct I like so what i remember was when i when you and i were speaking initially you spoke about beauty and health care so you can be treated uh, right there and your hair can be not only do you do that you you style hair also oh yes we also style the don't you you doing all these things that's right. So you, you're fixing the hair, you're styling the hair. They could come out as a new person entirely. They mm -hmm. could come out as a new person. What, what, what if, someone just asked me this, I don't mean to interrupt, but what if you are a Caucasian? Do you just do black hair or do you do Caucasian hair as well? Yes, we do. Okay. Because we, we don't have any segregation in terms of... Okay. Uh -huh. No, we don't. Yes, we yes, don't. yes. It's all inclusive. What are you doing? <laughs> Sit at the back of the bus and get what your hair done. Here? You need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop it so you're doing too much, right? Yes, ma'am. No. <laughs> but I like that. I like, I like you doing that. A lot of persons are out there. If you're out there in this kind of a space and place and you want to be able to get yourself restored, like I said, a lot of persons feel as though they're here. They know that they're here has been sort of their crown glory. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to show themselves strong, 
People lose confidence. They turn to introverts when they see their hair start receding. They give up, get into alcoholism, all these things because their hair is not presented in a particular manner. Yeah. How do you restore that? You can be able to do that. Check them out. Uh, the number again, 364-0517, right? You see Elizabeth and Bay? Yes, correct. Let them know how to come. Dr. Neely would be more than happy to assist. You got a website or anything people could check out? www.fabulousronnie242.com. Fabulous, fabulous Ronnie? Fabulous, fabulous Ronnie, you know this woman? Fabulous Big Ronnie. time, yes, Fabulous Ronnie. Fabulous okay. Ronnie. Yeah, so individuals out there who are suffering from baldness and patches, loss of edges, um, alopecia, because I'm on your website right now on your page, um, dandruff and receding hairline, you got hair thinning at the crown of your head, no problem. You want to call Fabulous Ronnie right now today, 364-0517, 364-0517, 3 My cousin just sent me a message, said that, he has to go down there because he says his wife don't know edges. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't get edges because I think they say you, people's pulling the children's hair back tight when it was getting it plait. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes something. Sometimes I think, my, okay, so my, when my wife had the babies, mm -hmm. right? Every time she had another with a baby, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we do this often. Right. Let's be very clear about this. But right. every time she has another baby, <laughs> she's thin on the side here. But yeah. she blames me. She says, I'm stressing her out, mm -hmm. right? But then as time progresses, it strengthens and comes back so forth and so on. So it may just be hormonal. It oh. may be some of these other stuff like that. Doc, see, you want to hire stuff. Jesus, yeah, it's a lot. You know, you know your stuff. So again, you said you guys are located East Bay Street and Elizabeth Avenue. Yes. And the phone number? 364-0517. Not, you can, some people, uh, they, they listen slow. Say it again one more time, yeah. slowly. 364-0517. Right. Well, check her at fabulousronnie.com. Yep. Fabulousronnie.com. Fabulousronnie.com. Yeah. Fabulous and on Facebook, Fabulous Ronnie Hair Restoration Clinic. What are you on Instagram? Fabulous Ronnie 242. Ah, you see that. When you just type in Fabulous Ronnie, anything will pop up. Yes. On yeah. any yeah. one of the social now, media. Now, all treatments you said, you said earlier, you said, Ian, all treat confidential. Oh, so yeah. you ain't got to worry about people talking your business. No, definitely. Mm -hmm. We have a very private setting. Everything is. Very private. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ain't no cameras in there where they take off the cap and then people say, Woo, Jesus, girl. We, when the thing about it is when a woman or even a guy take off a hat or a covering, it's almost like they become completely naked. The embarrassment, the shame. Yeah, I would so assume so. Privacy is a big deal. Because sometimes even if I don't get a proper haircut, I, I feel I feel bad. There's a saying, you look good, you feel good. Yeah. Am I yeah. correct? Yeah, you're correct. Yeah. yeah, and your hair is your crown, most people say. Yeah. And it's kind of something that people judge you by when they see you. Yeah. So you want to maintain, either you want to correct with something that you find improper, improper or you want to maintain what you got yeah. so you don't lose it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the show today. Make sure you go down there, check out Fabulous Ronnie. We had an opportunity to be able to talk about all manner of things. We talked about the uh, Traveler's Rest, uh, Centerville, the new uh, Village Pub, the Generac. Make sure you pick up those particular things. You get your Bissell, IPTV, hair restoration, all these things here with DNA Direct. It's a wonderful thing to talk about these things. Like I said, if you want to be a part of it, please give me a call, 827-0111, 827-0111. We chop it down and put it on the table for you. That is the show today, The Foundation, with Howard Grant. Ian, my brother, it was yep. good talking with you, Dr. Thank Neely. You. I thank you so much for being able to thank be here with us. Absolutely gorgeous. Always a great time being here with you, Howard. It is? Yeah. Always a wonderful time. And I'm so glad that um, Fabulous that Ronnie came by. the Babbitts with yeah. you. So I just want to be very clear about that. Right? Yes, thank you. Guys, that's the show today. Tomorrow we're going to be able to chop this thing down and talk about a little bit of politics, national growth and development and get right into it right here on The Foundation. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you tomorrow. God spare. Foundation. The Foundation. 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 Foundation.